Hey guys, welcome back to another Lady Friend tutorial video. Today we're actually going to be talking about the stream manager, which is a of Twitch itself. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right on into it. Alright guys, so to start we're on twitch.tv. Granted this is my channel. That we are currently on so we're gonna go over to your little picture in the corner here click it and hit creator dashboard we're gonna be focusing on the stream manager which it'll automatically take you to it's the first thing i'm gonna hide this with this little button so we don't even look at that the first thing we want to talk about is this activity feed so this you have right here you can actually drag and move all of these little things around you see the little the way my mouse changes when i go hovering onto the top bars so we have the activity feed. This is just to show you what's going on in your stream. I like to have the stream manager up while I am live so I can watch and have all these quick actions available to me. This helps me keep up with what's going on. So you can have it show everything or you can have it only show you select things. So on and so forth. Um, that's totally up to you on what you want it to show you. Definitely it's a nice one for like subs when there's like a lot of subs and a hype train going on. So you can help keep up with chat. There's also the chat here, which same thing. Move that around. You can swipe through the top bits and subs. You have users in chat that you can change it to. Close. You can also make it a pop out. So if you want it to be a separate window, you could do that. That's another great thing. So if you just want the quick actions, you can turn it into a pop out actually. You can also manage rewards, redeem stuff on your own. We have this right here to show mod tools, just like your basic chat, basically. Access emotes, you can work in chat as well with this tool. The other thing we have is the top bar here. This just shows you everything, how long your session's been, the number of viewers. Um, you are able to hide things, so say you don't want to see um the number of views you have you can go ahead and remove it just with the x button not a bad thing i <laughs> um <laughs> you hit done to be done with it you can also set the size to these things. i'll keep in mind um but yes yeah, so you can edit you can see your bit rate your follow count your views um, total on your stream, sub count, pre-roll on or not, uh, easy stuff like that at the top bar that are just really handy to have on hand. The big thing that's really great about the stream manager, especially while you're live and having this accessible, is the quick action. You can have all sorts of actions on here. These are just the ones I have. I have an edit stream info, a clip, managing reward request that I click, and it gives me the little window to see what the requests I have manage a poll, running ad breaks, toggling on follower only or emote only chat, starting a watch party, and then you can also manage your extensions this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do edit quick actions. You do also have the pop out option as well. So if I wanted to delete ones, I can check them and hit delete. You can also drag and move them around. What do I like to have them in? you want to add instead of in the edit mode we just go down here and hit the click so you can do stream markers add stream marker with description hosting a channel stream loot gifting or start loot gifting ah. um start a rerun rate a channel all sorts of different stuff you can also talk clear chat history toggle sub only mode there's a couple of different ad breaks you can do. So we've got anywhere from 30, 60, 90, 120, 180, or 150 seconds. And then of course, all of your extensions that you have are gonna be available right here. So you can also mess around with those. There's not much to messing around with extensions in these. It really just takes you to like the panel setting. Basically is what it is. That is the pop-outs. And then, of course, in the middle here, we have the stream pre. It shows your tags, the name, the game you're playing, and the stream as well, so you can actually see if you're dropping frames and everything like that. 
this is just a really handy tool to have open while you're streaming. I usually keep it on a monitor. This is how I keep up with chat and everything and then have all this. Um, if you just want one of these features, like the quick action, so you can, everything has pop out. Really simple. But that's about it, guys. Thank you again always so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want more. Um, follow me on Twitter for updates. Then I live stream over on Twitch as well. The Lady Friend one everywhere. As always, happy streaming, guys.